Hey guys, it's Sarah Ray. Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with the third video in my fall series. Today we are going to be making a fall meal in our crock pot as well as doing some fall activities for the kids. I know right now I don't actually have a child to show you the activities on, but I know that there are some moms out there watching that would love some fall craft ideas. So I plan on sharing that. So if you would like to stay tuned today as we cook our fall crock pot meal and we do some fall children activities, please just keep on watching. All right guys, I am in my kitchen this morning. We are doing a fall crock meal we will be making chili in our crock pot so I want to start on this pretty early in the morning so that I can give it some time to cook and sit in the crock pot throughout the day so then after I make this meal then I will do the fall craft for you guys so this chili meal so here's the story here's the, the little inside scoop I wanted a chili recipe but I didn't want the regular chili recipe. I wanted something with a little kick, something a little different, something out of the norm of chili. So I found this recipe on Pinterest. It has like, it's a little bit more intricate than the stuff that I've been making on this channel, like the apple pie and what else did I do? The cider and then the pumpkin spice latte. So it has a little bit more steps than those, um, a little bit more ingredients, but then again, it is a chili, so it's hefty. It has like bacon, ground turkey in it, Italian sausage. It has like a lot of vegetables, um, green pepper, red pepper, onion, celery, um, and it has a lot of beans, tomato paste, I'll put the, the directions, um, the ingredients below in the description like I always do. But this is definitely not your normal <laughs> chili. This has a little bit more steps to it. So I'm excited to make this and I'm excited to try it. As I make it on camera, I'll try to stop and let you guys know what I'm doing and like what I'm putting in just because it's not your normal chili most of it is like a dump in the pot and go but there are some like like bacon have you ever had chili with bacon personally i have not so this will be a first for me so i'm excited to get into that um and see what this tastes like so let's get in to this chili making i was lost what you saw me do there was I took five strips of bacon I put them on the stove but I started I figured it would be easier to make them like bacon bits now so I cut them up um, in little small pieces before I actually cooked them so now I turn the stove back up and they are cooking right here so if you want to cook your bacon in long strips and then crumble up and up crumble them up in bacon bits it might be easier for you I thought it might be easier just to have them in bacon bits now. Let me know in the comments what you decide to do with yours, but um, that's right here. So this is five pieces of bacon cut up in little pieces. Then I'm going to, in this pan, I'm going to cook the Italian sausage and I'm gonna cook the ground turkey. The recipe uh, I found on um, Pinterest said ground beef. However, I just decided to do ground turkey. Really, you need two pan, you need two pounds i only have one pound because i didn't read the directions point blank <laughs> so i'm gonna make it pop with one pound of ground turkey instead of two pounds of ground turkey so yeah that's what i'm about to do now So heavy 
salad. My meats are cooking. Bacon is still cooking. This is the ground sausage and the ground turkey. Um, now I'm going to cut up my vegetables and prep them and then probably start opening these, sorry, then probably start opening these cans so that they can be ready to dump in the crock pot. I have um, two things of, two cans of diced tomatoes, one tomato paste. I have chili beans, light kidney beans, and then I have black beans. And then I have um, beef boiling cubes, three of them. I have a tablespoon of minced garlic. That's all gonna go into the pot. So when I post this from Pinterest, there's like measurements for how much chili powder, how much cunning, how much basil and stuff like that. Listen, your girl's just, your girl's just gonna sprinkle because that's what I do. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sprinkle it in there. So when you're watching me, I don't have measurements for the spices. I will put measurements in case you are a person that likes measurements for your spices. I will put that for you. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. Um, I removed the bacon and the this ground meat situation that I had going on. I put it in the sink to drain it because I'm not a fan of like like a lot of extra grease. Like if I don't need the grease, I don't want to put the grease in the chili. You can do it however you want to do it, but I just don't want all the extra grease. Um, so we have an empty pan. It still kind of has like a little bit of residue because I didn't clean it. And I'm just going to take the vegetables and I'm going to put them in here. I need my other hand to scrape it in there. But then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put the mixture that's draining in the crock pot. So that's the bacon, the ground turkey, and the ground sausage. That's what I'm doing next. Oh, I am also gonna take this garlic mixture and put it in with the vegetables as well. So the garlic is going in with the vegetables.
Okay, so everything is now dumped into the crock pot, except for the boiling cubes and the seasoning. Alexa always thinks you're talking to her. We don't be talking to you. Okay, anyway. Everything's dumped into the crock pot. I'm gonna add the, well, I'm gonna stir it first. Then I'm gonna add the boiling cubes and the seasoning. You're just gonna see me shake, shake, shake. Like I said, I'll give you the specific recipe, but I don't really, I don't wanna measure the seasoning. So I'm just gonna shake it. And I might add like a little touch of like my own seasoning. So you'll see from the seasonings that I put into the ones that um, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put in chili powder, cunning, basil, Italian seasoning, I'm probably gonna put in a little salt and pepper and onion powder and garlic powder just because you can always you can never have too many onion and too much garlic powder. And so then I will cook it and um yeah, we'll see how it comes out. The recipe did say add a little bit of sugar, so this is literally just a little bit of sugar. Okay, so this is what we are looking like. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. Um, it's the whole thing is cooked. We just have to wait until it like gels together and gets the flavor. I am going to taste just a teensy weensy bit just because I want to see how it's tasting even though it's not cooked I just want to see what it's tasting like but I am going to taste this teensy little bit I cooked it on low for about it says six to eight hours so you can do six and then I'll come back and if it's still needs to gel together more then I'll give it a couple more hours but I'm gonna taste it and I'm gonna see how it tastes so far. All right, so this is not the final. This is not the final tasting. This is just, I'm just tasting this little bit before it gels together, just to see if I need to add anything. It's cold, but it's good. It's good. It's really good. So like I said, this is not the final tasting. I'm gonna go do the Arts and Crafts projects. Leave this for six hours on low. Check back in with me later. But anyway, you gotta stay tuned anyway so you can see that Arts and Crafts project. So I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys, all right, I am back. The crock pot chili is cooking, it smells uh amazing but i am back to show you guys two fall kind of fall crafts that you can do with your little ones um you can decide on the ages i would do it you know as young as like two um there are things that they can do so a little background information about me i was a former educator so i taught kindergarten for a little bit and then i taught first grade so crafts books any type of activity that goes with a book, craft, is near and dear to my heart. So I know my son is not here yet to partake in crafts with us, but just know I'm going to be that channel that gives you all the crafts, all the activities, schooling activities that you can get because that is near and dear to my heart and I absolutely love, 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 love crafts. So today's craft, um, well, there's two crafts. The first one is a painting craft. The second one is more like 
gluing and cutting. So both of the crafts are similar. We're gonna be making fall looking trees. So as you know, fall trees are red and green and brown and yellow and the leaves are changing and the leaves are falling on the ground. So honestly, I would make this a whole lesson. Um, I would start with like a book about fall trees. So I have a book here that I just wanna, sh I'm not gonna read it to you, but I just wanna show it to you. So I would read a book like this. It's called One Leaf, Two Leaf, Count With Me. So it's just talking about like the leaves falling off the tree. And then it get, goes into like details about five little yellow brown leaves. And so it talks about the colors of the leaves and like slowly they'll start to fall off. And then towards the end of the book, there will be like no leaves on the tree and then it goes into winter. So you can do like a whole lesson on this. So I would start with this. And then of course you could go on like a nature walk with the kids and show them like, oh look, the leaves are falling off the tree. Let's collect some brown leaves or let's collect the green leaves or let's collect the red leaves. So you can do like a whole little mini lesson on this. So I would start with the book, then maybe a nature walk and then followed by a craft. I always like to lock in a lesson with a craft. So that's why I'm gonna show you a craft today. I have not done the craft, so I'm gonna be doing it on camera with you. So I'm gonna kind of set my camera up so that it's looking down at what I'm doing so you can see the craft. I'll show you the first craft and then I'll show you the second craft um, that you could do depending on you know the supplies you have or the age ranges of the children that you have. So for the first craft, it's going to be, let's do the painting one first. So for the first one, all you need is a white sheet of paper. Um, you need markers so that you can draw the outline of the tree or you can have the kids draw the outline of the tree, whatever um, you want. Depending on the age range, mamas, you know what you can do with your kids and what you can't do with your kids. Oh, I got water on my shirt. Okay, ignore that. And then you need paint. So I have orange paint. I have red paint, all the colors of the, the trees, <laughs> the leaves. Uh, brown paint, green paint, and I have yellow paint. So all the colors of the trees, the leaves, oh, I'm sorry. All the colors of the leaves, I have the paint right here. So you need paint. And then instead of using paint brushes, I like to use like different things, especially for like little kids that are working on like fine motor skills. So I have Q-tips because Q-tips are, they're kind of like, it takes more muscle strength, uh, like fine motor skills to pick up a little Q-tip than it does like a paintbrush or like a sponge or something. So I'm like all for fine motor skills. So I have Q-tips. So that's all you need, the paper, the markers, the paint, and the Q-tips. I'm gonna set you up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and then I will talk you through and then just do the craft and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. And then we'll come back and we'll do craft number two. So you ready? Let's see. So the first thing that we'll be doing is drawing the, okay, so these are the supplies you need. You need the white paper, the markers, the, oh, this light color orange. You need the orange, the red, brown, green, yellow, and then the Q-tips. Oh, and then I have another piece of paper that I will put the paint on, like I will drip the paint on because I don't have a little, what is it called? Like a little easel, I don't know what it's called. The little thing that you drip the paint in. Anyway, so the first thing that you can do is start out by drawing the outline of the tree. Um, I'm gonna do it in brown because trees are brown. You can draw your outline of the tree however you want to. Um, I know trees look different, all different. You can even let the kids draw the outline of the tree. If you're working with little, little, little kids, honestly, I would probably draw the outline of the tree for them. And then I would just let them, you know, go to town on the leaves. So there, you, that's, you can draw something like that for outline of the tree. You can do it however you want. I could, you could do, even do a little circle in the middle, you know, make it creative. Don't judge my tree, miss. It's what's in your heart, guys. It's not about perfection. So orange, and I would do little teeny drops because again, we're using Q-tips. Brown. Green and 
and yellow. And the cool thing about Q-tips is you don't need any type of like water to mix the brushes. You can just take the Q-tips and put them each in here. And yeah, I have to go get a Q-tip for the brown one. Anthony, can you go give me a brown Q-tip? I mean a Q-tip. Sorry about that. Yeah. All right, so then once you have all the Q-tips, then you just take it and you can just let the kids honestly do like a little dot, 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 Or if you want them to like paint with them, you could show them like, oh, a leaf looks like this. Let's, you know, paint a leaf like this. Let's make like real looking leaves. So honestly, mama, you can do this however you want to do it. You can even add more branches if you want to. I mean, this is really up to you, but this is like, you know, for the for the kids. You can make it fuller. That's just something fun for them to do. Dot, 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 dot. So. You can even have some on the ground if the, the child says, oh, but you know, leaves fall on the ground. They sure do. You are ab. Absolutely right. You can put some leaves on the ground. How cute is this? All right, now our craft is complete. How cute is this? So this is our first fall craft that you could do. So I challenged the kids to like, well, I don't have any kids here with me right now, but you can challenge the kids to like fill it up, cover in the holes, make it as full as you want to, or as like sparse as you want to, because you know when the leaves fall off the tree, there's more um, there's more of the tree chunks showing and there's more branches showing. So maybe if you want to add more branches, you can do it however you want to. So now I'm going to show you the second variation of this craft. This one does not include paint. It actually is just construction paper and marker and a glue stick and scissors. This one is a little bit more less messy but um it's still fun and it's still engaging so stay tuned with me as i set up for the next craft and then we're going to jump into that one okay so for craft number two it's a similar activity except it's just no paint it's just cutting and gluing so i'm going to set you guys up so you guys can see what i'm doing first i'll go over the supplies you need a white piece of paper again that serves as your background and then you need the color of the leaves brown red green and orange and I don't have yellow. I definitely forgot to grab yellow. Please grab yellow when you do this. Um, there's some yellow leaves, kind of. I mean, you don't need yellow, but I mean, sometimes leaves are yellow. So grab yellow when you do it. I just did not grab the yellow. I don't think so. No, I didn't grab the yellow. So I'm not gonna have yellow in my tree, but um, oh, and then markers so you can do the outline of the tree. But I'm gonna set you up so that you can see what I'm doing and then we'll just run through this craft. Ready? Our brown marker. We're gonna do our tree trunk. Please do your tree trunk however you wanna do it. There's no judgment on the tree trunk. You know. It's your tree. If you want to have more branches, add some more branches. But this is my tree trunk. All right, so moms out there, you can decide if you want to cut them or if you want your kids to cut them. But all you're going to need to do is cut tiny little squares. So right now I'm just cutting slivers of paper. And I would not cut this whole thing. 
I would actually cut as you go just to see what you need. So I cut three little slivers of paper, stacking them together, and then you're just cutting squares just because you might not need the whole thing and you don't want a bunch of little extra squares around. Because if you don't need them, you don't need them. Look at all of our leaves. And this is really fun for the kids to just touch and play with. It's like confetti. Anyway, so last time we just painted the leaves on. This time, guess what? We're gonna glue the leaves on. So just have the kids glue the leaves. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? Okay, I have my final product. Now, I didn't write my name and my date on this one, but you can put the name and the date on this one. I have all of this extra leaves. So, honestly, I'll probably have the kids do another one. Do a second one, a third one. Um, just something to keep them busy um, so they can get creative with this. Uh, if they want to put all the leaves on one tree, maybe have them do a yellow tree or one orange tree or one red tree or anything like that. So just make it fun. Um, you can have them write on it. Anything you want, you can expand this craft into your own activity for your own children. So I hope you enjoyed these two fall crafts. I hope you have fun making them with your little one. I am going to go... I don't know what I'm gonna do because the chili is obviously not ready yet because it takes six to eight hours to kind of cook and gel together. So, but I am gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this last video in my fall series. Um, I just wanted to do something fun for the fall. Next videos that are coming are gonna be baby related as I prepare for the hospital and Christmas content is coming too. I'm so excited about, <laughs> I'm like too stoked about Christmas. So I'm really excited about the Christmas content that comes out. So if you are not a part of the family, please hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned on all of my upcoming videos. Also hit the bell notification so that you are always notified when I do post a video. Leave a comment, like. I would love to just know how you feel about the series and how you feel about my channel. If there's anything that you wanna see, let me know in the comments. Follow me on social media. I have it linked below because you can find out a lot more about me and my life on Instagram than it takes me to put up a whole video. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks again for your support and I will see you guys later. Bye.